Okay, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you today? Very good. All right, nice. I'm ready for another for another fight with the English language. Huh? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, good. Hello, Josie. Jocelyn. Jennifer. Hello, Oscar. Brandon. And Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So we also have Andrea. Okay, good. So we're missing Jenny. Ivania too, right? Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form W. He works in a hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He works in a hotel. Only you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He works. Okay, in this one, just for you to reconnect with the language, right? So we have the, yes, I remember they have the reduction in the pronunciation, right? For example, does he work? Does she work? Uh, where do you work? What do you do? Where do you live? So it's a where, no, where do you live? Is where do you live? Uh, what do you do? Um, where does he do? Okay, where, what does he do? What does see, right? So remember, this is some of the pronunciation. Now there are some sounds here, like where does where does your word work? Where does your brother work? Uh, there is another one that he doesn't work. What what hotel does he does he work for? And what does he do? Okay, now listen in the conversation. For example, how they sound more natural. Okay, more natural. Uh, listen. In a hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will. Okay, before we continue, do you have any questions about the, the meaning of the questions? 
Where do you work? What do you do? How do you like it? Where does he work? What does he do? How does he like it? Where do they work? What do they do? And how do they like it? Basically, there are three questions. Where do you work? What do you do? And how do you like it? Okay. Where is the place? Where do you work? I work at uh, a, I work at Cuscatlan Bank. I work at uh, Oak University. I work at a, what else uh, we can say? The, I work at in a store, right? The place. What do you do? I am a teacher, I'm a doctor, I'm a mechanic, I'm a, a manager, I am a supervisor. Okay, so you're using the occupation. How do you like it is, what is your opinion about your job? Uh, how do you like it? How do you like, how do you like your job? What is your opinion about your job? Okay, so then this is about you. The same for where does he work? He works in a hotel, uh, third person, he. Where the, what does he do? He is. And how does he like it? What is his opinion about his job? We'll use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, Make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so you have, for example, where do you work? Where does your brother work? Where does your husband work? Where does your best friend work? Okay, so these are the different questions about you, about him, about her, a man or woman, or they in plural, right? Where do they work? And what else? For example, the Brandon, where does Oscar work? I don't know, teacher. Ah. Where uh, he works, uh huh. He works in Tadesa. Okay, what does he do? He uh, is no okay. Yes, uh, he's you say he's the manager. Okay, it doesn't matter. He's the manager, he is the supervisor, he is a graphic designer. Just doesn't matter. Okay. And then the next question is, how does he like his job? Then you can say, ah, oh, it's okay. Okay. ¿Qué opina de su trabajo? Que está bien, it's okay. Or he likes it very much. Le gusta bastante, right? He likes it very much. So the idea is, for example, how you can give information about you or about another person, okay? If you are being asked, eh, esto supónganse que 
desde su puesto de trabajo llegara a alguien y les preguntara, mire, y, eh, por ejemplo, le preguntan a, a Jenny, ¿Where does Jennifer work? Obviamente sabemos que están en el mismo trabajo, el de centro es el departamento, right? Uh, this is... Le diría, I don't know. <laughs> Pero ustedes le van a decir, ¿cómo que no sabe? Usted debería saber todo lo de esta empresa. Es más, más un jefe así bien estricto como, como Brandon. Okay? Then... Really, <laughs> le diría. <laughs> oh, really? No. Then you will say, for example, where does she work? Uh, ah, she works in the accounting department, in the Departamento de Contabilidad, right? In the accounting department. Ah, uh, she works in the sales department, Departamento de Ventas. She works in the production department. Okay, good. What does she do? Ah, uh, she's a supervisor. Uh, she's a, a, sales, a salesperson. She's a sales manager. She is uh, the receptionist, okay, whatever. And how does she like her job? Okay, how does she like her job? Oh, she likes it very much, or she's okay, right? When they say, well, eh, se siente bien, she's okay. Esto es cuando le entrevistan a alguien en un trabajo, preguntándole por alguien más, que creo que se, se da algunas veces, ¿verdad? Que alguien de un rango superior, o un auditor de alguna empresa viene y, y hace preguntas por algunos empleados. O a veces el mismo jefe, ¿ok? Llega y quiere saber cómo está el ambiente laboral y pueden hacer estas preguntas, ¿ok? Esto es para que ustedes, eh, se los explico así para que lo vean, asociando las cosas a, un, a una realidad que a ustedes se les puede presentar y no, no verlo únicamente como... Como aparece acá, por el caso lo ponen en un. Eh, no, wait. Eh, en un contexto. Esta es la eh, Pero no, o sea, digamos con un, un contexto de, de, un, de una conversación, right? But how do we apply this? After that, we have the subject in our, final in our personal life, right? How that's what it says. Eh, for example, o en, con unos amigos le pregunta alguien, ay, ¿dónde trabaja tu hermano? ¿Dónde trabaja tu hermana? ¿Dónde trabaja tu esposo? Tu esposa, tu novio, tu novia, right? So they say, where do you, uh, where does your husband work? Where does your brother work? Where does your sister work? Where does your um, a boyfriend work? Where does your girlfriend work? Where does your wife work? Uh, where does your uh, best friend work? Okay, so you can use any person, right? Uh, where does your cousin work? Okay, primo, prima, right, whatever. All right? No problem with this? No. Okay. Finally, we have the. You need to make questions discussion forms. Then, in the other case, we have. Okay, this one, uh, using some of the practice of this, we can see that complete the conversation, select the answer that contains the two words needed to complete each question. Okay. So we have, what does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse, okay? Then you have, does she, it's difficult, but she loves it. What would be the question here? Where like, what like, or how does she like? What does she like, where does she Play? How like. Yes, it's opinion, right? But in this one, place what he does or opinion. Where work. Where work. Place, correct. This one, place where does he like? How does he like it? Or what does he like it? 
how like how opinion and the number three how like how do your parents like their jobs okay this one where work where work Conversation four. Was what do. do? What do? Okay, excellent. And the last one? How like? How like? Okay. Now, look at this. How like can be answered in different ways, right? Uh, for example, Sin se dice una opinión, como es una opinión, se puede responder de diferentes maneras, ¿ok? La pregunta, si hablamos de where does he work, solo va a cambiar el nombre del lugar o empresa de trabajo. Eh, what does he do, solo vamos a cambiar el nombre de la profesión. Okay? Pero how does she like it? Por ejemplo, it's difficult, but she loves it. Es difícil, pero le encanta. Eh, how does she uh, how does she like it she doesn't really like it no le gusta mucho no le gusta right he doesn't really like it okay no le gusta realmente no le gusta the other one is uh, how do your parents like their jobs um okay i guess they like them supongo okay i guess supongo que le gusta Okay, so you see three different answers. One answer, two answers, and three. Una que le, que le fascina, le encanta, otro que no mucho le gusta, realmente no le gusta, and una que supongo, right? And there is another one uh, here. It says, how do you, I see, how do you like your classes? Ah, oh, they're good. I like them a lot. Son buenas, okay? Me gustan bastante. Okay, then this is, for example, how do you like? Uh, you can say, how do you like El Salvador? Okay, que opina El Salvador? Que tanto, cuanto le gusta El Salvador, right? So you can use different, and the answers depend on your personal opinion. For example, if I said, um, Oscar, how do you like the beach? How do you like the beach? I like it. Okay, you say, oh, I like it a lot. Si me hubiera preguntado a mí, yo hubiera dicho, I love it. Okay. Me. Yes, I am. Two. I love it too. Uh -huh. I love it too. I love it too. Uh -huh. I love it too. Okay. So then, I love it too. I love it too. Okay. A mí también me encanta, right? I love it too. Then I said, Lillian, how do you like a, uh, what is the name of this place? A, the lake, eh, Guatepeque Lake. Mm. Where lie? Uh -huh. How do you like Guatepeque Lake? lake? Mm. You can use? Uh, let me see from here. I don't really like it. I guess I like it. I suppose I like it. Oh, I don't like it. Do you like Guatepeque? Oh, like? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, they say, yeah, I like it. A little or a lot? I love. A lot, okay. Then you say, I like it a lot, okay? I like it a lot. Uh, Jocelyn, uh, how do you like concerts? Repeat, please. How do you like 
concerts. Yes, I like. I like them. Them. A lot. A lot or a little? A lot or a little? A little. Okay, good. How then you say, how do you like? I like the only one help. I like concerts. La pregunta en plural, you can say, I like them a little. Okay, I like them a little. El them es porque estamos hablando de concerts, conciertos, in plural, right? Uh, you can say, uh, I don't like them much. Uh, no me gustan mucho. How do you like concerts? Um, I don't like them much, pero sí un poquito. I don't like them much. No me gustan mucho, pero hay un poco que sí. Um, let's see. Um, Jenny. How do you like, uh, how do you like English? Yes, I like them much. Okay, good. How do you like English? How do you like English? They say, I like it. Very much. Okay, I like it very much. That's one of the muchas respuestas que podrían dar. I like it very much. Um, and this one, aquí usamos it porque estamos hablando únicamente de un idioma, right? A little. I like it a lot. I like it very much. Okay, cuando es plural, them. Okay, and when it's singular, it. A lot of teacher. <laughs> okay, good, a lot. Uh, how do you like, by esta respuesta me la puede contestar esta pregunta, perdón. How do you like apples? Okay, esta me la puede contestar cualquiera. How do you like apples? Like I like it. I like, I like it. them a lot. A little. Okay, you can say I like them. Pues que estamos hablando de plural. Okay. And also, uh, how can I tell this? Uh, how do you like apple? Okay. I like them es como lo más así natural, formal, right? Uh, nah, me gustan. ¿Qué opina de las manzanas? Me gustan. Eh, puede decir, um, I like them. I like them. Eh, they are sweet. Me gustan, son dulces, ok? That could be one. Eh, si quiere hacer más énfasis, I like them a lot. Ok, me gustan bastante, ok? How do you like apples? I like them a lot. Eh, I like them very much. Ok, me gustan muchísimo. And then you can also say, oh, uh, you can say, oh, apples. I love them. Manzanas? Yes. Oh, me encantan. Uh, what else you can say? Um,
to this one. I just love them. Si ven, cada una va enfatizando cada vez un poquito más. Haciendo más énfasis. Okay. Uh, to emphasize cuánto algo me gusta. Okay. O cuánto valoro una opinión que doy sobre algo. How do you like apples? I like them. Uh, okay, good. I like them. They're, they are sweet. Mm, okay. I like them a lot. Okay. Increase. I like them very much. Okay. Very much. I love them. Apples. I love them. And the last one is, oh, yes, I just love them. Simply, sencillamente, me fascina. Me encanta, right? This is the emphasis increases, okay? Eh, y todas estas expresiones las pueden ocupar si en vez de apples ponemos mangos. Sería lo mismo, right? Oh, I like them. I like them a lot. Eh, I like them very much. In vez de mangos, pongo pupusas. Okay, how do I like pupusas? Great. Okay. Eh, si para los caballeros les ponga, how do you like tall girls? Hey, ¿qué opinan de las chicas altas? Okay. O les pregunto a las señoras, señoritas, the ladies. Okay, how do you like uh, a tall man? ¿Qué opinan de los hombres altos? Ah, oh, ok, good. I like them. Y podemos usar frases de, no, o sea, negativas, pero no, no peyorativas, ¿verdad? No, no ofensivas. For example, you can say, don't, I don't like. I don't like them much. Ok. No me gustan mucho. Ok. Uh, simply, I don't like them. Okay. Te voy a dar una que es, es la más fuerte, digamos, en lo negativo, solo, pero porque a veces se puede utilizar o la pueden escuchar, right? I. ¿Cuál sería lo contrario de I love them? Vamos a ver si alguien la sabe. Let me see. How do, how do you like pacayas? I don't know, like. You don't like pacayas? I don't know. Like I don't them. Like. Okay. Then you say, I don't like them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, but okay, creo que podría decir esta también. Guacala. Me say, I hate them. La detesto. <laughs> Así sonó. Right? I hate them. <laughs> uh -huh. I hate them. Okay. Ahí sería I hate, huh? I hate them. I hate them. Okay. So it's enough. I hate that. Okay. So detesto eso. Y se puede ocupar, por ejemplo, para hechos que a uno, por ejemplo, ver a alguien que maltrata a un niño. Eh, por ejemplo, how do you like, uh, for example, how do you like parents that uh, mistreat their children? ¿Qué opinan de los papás que maltratan a sus hijos? You say, I hate them. Yo detesto, no me gusta, es detestable, right? Then you can use, ahí se puede usar esta expresión, right? Que es lo contrario de I love them, ¿ok? Entonces puede ir dependiendo del contexto. ¿Ok? Ahí tienen todas estas frases. Como ven, el, de, me detuve en esa pregunta porque es la que más variedad tiene a la hora de responder, right? Y no hay una firme o fija, sino que depende de lo que uno opina. Las otras no cambian. Como digo, where does he work? ¿Dónde trabaja? Tal vez solo el lugar, el nombre del lugar, right? Okay, let's say at the airport, at the, at the, uh, let's say at the airport, it could be at, in San Salvador, in Santa Ana, okay, in different places. Okay, no questions? Are we okay with that? Okay, then we have the next one. 
Now we're gonna see the adjectives. Okay, adjectives. Se usan de dos maneras. ¿Quién me dice una oración así ya que se les venga a la mente usando un adjetivo calificativo? Usando una casa con su color, un... describiendo a una persona, una oración. My house uh -huh. is in color yellow. My house is the is, color yellow. It's yellow, yeah. Okay. Exacto. Good. ¿A dónde está ubicado el adjetivo? Después de qué? ¿Qué o okay. qué? Sustantivo no es, teacher. ¿Perdón? ¿Al sustantivo? No. Vea, ahí en esa oración que me acaba de decir, en... Del pronombre. No. Antes del pronombre. No, ¿qué está antes de yellow? El verbo to be. El verbo to be. Yes. Sí. Ajá. Entonces, esa es una forma de utilizar los adjetivos, ¿ok? Dice, my house is yellow. Si fueran dos houses, serían, my houses are yellow. Eh, my cars, si tuviera dos carros, my cars, mis carros, my cars are yellow and black, my cars are blue and red, ok, seríamos después del verbo to be, ok, eh, esa es una forma, ¿qué otra forma hay de utilizarlo? ¿Otra oración? He yeah. is a little. He is little. Ese es igual, similar a esta. Está bien, la oración está bien, pero es, siempre va después del verbo to be. Piensen en otra. Por ejemplo, how do you say in English? Eh, tengo una casa pequeña. Ya todas las palabras las conocen. I have a small house. I have a very good, thank you, and small house. Okay, ¿dónde está el adjetivo? Ya me lo dijeron antes, en las respuestas anteriores. Antes de qué? Verbo to be. No, I never verbo to be. I have a small house. Vean que no, eso es, un, pero es una buena observación. Ahí no hay verbo to be en la segunda oración. I have a small house. Small. Es y después de small. House. ¿Qué es house? Uh, house. Casa. Uh -huh, pero, o sea, en gramática, ¿cómo le llama? Ya me lo dijeron anteriormente. Un pronombre. El pronombre es I, I. Yo digo chair, house, car, men. Es un adjetivo. El adjetivo es small. Small. Ajá, small es el adjetivo. Pero si dices, por ejemplo, house, car, computer, ball, CD, lamp, wall, light. Eh, son sustantivos. Son sustantivos, ok. Son nombres. Nombres comunes, right? Eh, for example, that you can use carro, casa, eh, agua, pelota, banco, lámpara, puerta, ok. So they say a small house. Estas dos oraciones que están acá representan las dos formas de utilizar los adjetivos. Van después del verbo to be. Is, are, sigue en presente. Y antes de un sustantivo. A small house, a big car, a yellow bowl, a expensive TV, a white door, a clean window. Ok. That's the idea. Ok. Ahí tienen las dos formas. Ahora vean el video para que lo van a entender un poco mejor con estos ejemplos. 
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title that's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is. is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be is. Finally, we have the adjective. Stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A. Then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb, has. Next, the article, A. Then we will add the adjective and finally we need to add the noun which in this case is job now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs and then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far let me read them for you boring easy dangerous exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different. Okay. Do you know this uh, adjectives? Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, and stressful? No? Yes? Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, and stressful. No problem. How do you say boring? Boring is when you are like this. Oh. Boring. Do you like the movie? It's boring. Okay. Uh, for example, this something like exciting is when you are very happy because the nice movie is excited. When you watch a soccer game, uh, you are very excited. But when the soccer game, the players are not there, you are 
But again, que jueguecito, right? So then you don't like it. Okay? Got it? Yes or no? Boring. Aburrido, okay? That's boring. Okay. Okay. Easy is the opposite of difficult. Dangerous, the opposite of safe. Exciting is the opposite of boring. Is the contrary, right? Exciting and boring. Difficult is the opposite of easy. And stressful is when you have something stressed. For example, um, a stressful job, un trabajo estresante, right? A uh, stressful situation. The traffic, the traffic is a stressful uh, situation. Okay, it's a stressful uh, activity to drive in our traffic. Okay, the other thing is with these sentences, a firefighter's job is dangerous. Look, there to be is dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful, is stressful. A fire fighter has a dangerous job. A doctor has a stressful job. Questions, doubts? I'm dying in games. Okay. You say it then in games. Dangerous? Mm -hmm. Dangerous. Okay. Usemos oraciones con verbo to be, right? For example, um, the football. Soccer is exciting, okay? Football is emocionante, is exciting. Para todos, right? Is exciting. Football is exciting. Eh, the food, the food is delicious. The food is delicious. Uh, the... The book, the book is big, big, is grand, right? The book is thick, okay, the book is thick, okay? What else? The, uh, the mouse is small, okay? The mouse is small. Uh, the telephone, the telephone is uh, old. Está viejito, right? It's old. What else? Uh, the shirt, the shirt is blue. The curtains, okay, the curtains are brown and light blue. Okay, my glasses, are old, plural, are old. Okay, give me more examples. Algo que vean ahí en su casa. Algo que está limpio, algo que está sucio, algo que está viejo, nuevo. Uh, algo que está... What else? Um, que está pequeño, que sea grande. Que sea color rojo, azul, amarillo, whatever. Just, just, you use the vocabulary in English, okay? Tell me, tell me. Levanten la mano. Guitar, Oscar, guitar. yes. My guitar, my guitar bass is small. Okay, my bass, yeah. the bass, el bajo. Sí. The bass, yes. the bass is small. Mm -hmm. The bass is small and, and white. Okay, good. What else? My dog is the color black. My what? My dog? 
Yes. Okay. My dog is black. Yes. Is okay. black? Mm -hmm. My dog is black. My sofa is brown. My, <laughs> my hair, my hair is small. My what? Here, here. My chair. Uh -huh. My chair yeah. is small. My sofa is. Jocelyn says my my sofa is brown. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. my, what else? What else? Mm -hmm. Yes, Milagro. My television is little. Is little. Little. Okay, my television is little. It's small. Okay. You can say my TV is old. Okay, my TV is vieja, right? My TV is old. Okay. What else? My house is white. My cat is small. Yes, Yossi. Good. Good, good, good. Ivania, tell me a sentence. Ah, oh, yes, Ivan is here. Uh, my little cat is black. My little cat is black. Good. I use all those. Yes. My little cat is black. Okay, good. Nice. What else? Yes, Brandon. Okay, Milagro, tell me. My, my brother is nice. My brother is nice. That's a good one for people too. Yes, nice. My brother's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, Lillian. My soul is funny. It's my son funny. is funny. Yes, my son is funny. Good. My son is funny. Can also say, for example, hay otra palabra que me acordé cuando dice my son. Well, those are my daughter. Okay, my son is cute. My sister is tall. Yes, Reina. Very good. My son is cute. Okay, mi hijo es así, bonito, agradable, gracioso. Okay. What else? Uh, y la pronunciación de hija, ¿cómo es? Daughter. 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 Yes. Um. My skateboard. Skateboard, Jennifer. La tabla para patinar, right? My skate is cool. Yes, my skateboard. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Skateboard is cool. Okay, nice. You can also say, for example, my fa my brother is cool, my sister is cool, my father is cool. Okay, good. Now, this is, for example, using adjectives. I see that you have the idea on how to use the, the adjectives. Plus now, so past a stressful activity. Please share your work in our discussion forums. For example, like when you said uh, that somebody has, who has a stressful job? Now we're going to see that here in these uh, sentences. For example, a doctor's job is interesting. A doctor job has a doctor, sorry, a doctor has an interesting job. If you see in these two sentences, is the the idea is similar, but the, the structure changes, right? For example, here you're talking about uh, the job, that the job is interesting. And in the other one, you say that a doctor possesses, a doctor has an interesting job. You can say, for example, my house, my house is big. Okay, my house is small. My house is green. 
my house is uh, white. But you can say, for example, I have a white house. I have a big house. I have a small house. Okay, so you can say I have a beautiful house. Okay, or oh, my house is beautiful. Uh, I have a, a beautiful son. My son is beautiful. Or my daughter is beautiful and I have a beautiful daughter. I have, a, I have an excellent family. My family is excellent. Okay, so you're using the two forms. Okay, so when you see here, a police officer's job is dangerous. What is in the letter B? A police officer. Has. Yes, Jocelyn. Teacher, yo lo puse así, como va haciéndolo usted con esas instrucciones, pero no, no me da a mí. No le, ok. Así que, ajá, ahorita voy a ver cómo lo hace. Ok, a doctor, then, would you say, for example, a police officer? Vamos ajá. a ver, quiero ver una cosa, a police, es que a veces, igual que ayer, ¿verdad? Que puede hacer una palabrita, as a... Uh, Dangerous, dangerous. Ay, en esas letritas a veces uno le da vuelta y a veces por eso podría ser, right? Acuérdense que ya les puse el punto a todas y me salieron malas, right? Pero hoy no lo voy a poner. Solo vamos a probar with this one. Ahí está, mire. Y si lo pongo con mayúscula. A police officer. Igual me la toma como buena. Voy a ponerle el punto. Voy a hacer una letrita, yo Jocelyn. A veces que le uno lo cambia y... Vamos a ver. Me aceptó también el punto. Hoy resulta que todo lo acepta. Ajá, es verdad. Sí, ese Ahora, era... Hoy resulta... Que esa ya la marcó, teacher. Podría ser también. Ok, veamos. Eh, podría ser esto que. Vamos a poner solo algo acá. Solo para. Ok, vamos a ver. Uh, police. Police officer has dangerous job. Vamos al punto. A ver si nos acepta. Sí, mire. Pero igual me la acepta con todo. Lo que no hizo ayer. <laughs> yes. Ok. But then, this is the one. A police officer has. Eh, como todas las de la izquierda, las que están ya hechas están con is. Entonces, tendríamos que usar la lógica de la otra. ¿verdad? Doctor has. Ok, ¿cuál sería? A teacher's job is stressful. ¿Cuál sería el otro? A teacher. Teacher has a teacher a stressful job. A stress, uh -huh. a stressful job. Okay. There you go. All right. Ya vimos que acepta la mayúscula, el punto. Ok, and that's the idea. Ok, what is the number three? A plumber's job is boring. Plumber es el plumero. A plumber's job is boring. Ah. Uh, plumber. A plumber has. Uh, 
boring job. A boring job. Yes. A boring job. The next one, an electrician, an electrician's job is difficult. An electrician. An electrician. An electrician has, has a difficult job. Period. And the last one, a vendor's job is easy. Remember, el vendor es el señor o señora que vende en la calle, right? Vendor's job is easy. A vendor. Mm -hmm. a vendor. Has an easy job. Has an easy job. Okay, acuérdense que podría ser también an easy job. Eh, si omiten, por ejemplo, este a, este an. Por ejemplo, si yo le pongo aquí solo a, no va a salir mal. Ok, ¿Ya? todas están buenas. Entonces, si le agrego el n, la n, right? It's good. Pero aquí es an easy y aquí es a. Recuerden que el an se utiliza, es un o una. Y el an se utiliza antes de un sonido de vocal. Y el a antes de un sonido de consonante. Por ejemplo, aquí dice an electrician, porque es sonido de vocal. A plumber, sonido de consonante. A teacher, sonido de consonante. A police officer, ok, es sonido de consonante. A dangerous, consonant. A stressful, consonant. A boring, consonant. A difficult, consonant. An easy, Sonido de vocal. What would sound? All right. Vamos bien. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, the next one is. Bueno, aquí hay una lectura. Pero antes de la lectura quiero saber. Eh, ya, ya intentaron hacer el examen. Es el midterm. No, teacher, yo no. ¿No? No, yo no. Para, solo para ver. Esa lectura la vamos a hacer después de vacaciones. Pero solo para que tengan. Veamos si hay algún listening. Ya sabemos que es bueno, la estrategia que les di la vez anterior. ¿verdad? Es de abrir acá. Escucharlo. One. Y regresar acá. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. Y mientras escuchan, antes de escucharlo, pueden leer las preguntas con sus respuestas para tener una idea de qué es lo que les van a preguntar. Ok, de, there are, no, there are two, there are three bedrooms. There are some chairs in the dining room, living room, and kitchen. Y enfocarse en eso. Uh, Julia needs a microwave, a refrigerator, or a stove. Then you listen. House. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Okay, look, three bedrooms. Two. Yeah, I really love the house, but I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. A living room? What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. Ok, lo que Julia needs, aquí está, microwave, refrigerator, or stuff. Ok. That's the one. 
The next one is the complete the conversation. Aquí vamos a usar las preguntas y el ejercicio como los que hemos estado haciendo anteriormente. O sea, si es do your apartment building, esta es la clave. Your apartment building se está refiriendo a uno, un objeto, es singular. ¿Ok? Entonces, no se vayan a confundir con do. ¿Ok? Es tercera persona. ¿Ok? Do your apartment building. Oh. Yes. That's half. Uh -huh. That's half. Okay. Yes, it. It. It what? Doesn't. Does do don't doesn't. It does. Uh -huh. Aquí, por ejemplo, en esta, una estrategia es eliminar las dos negativas porque está hablando de sí. Yes. Entonces, las dos últimas definitivamente no. Entonces, se quedan con las dos opciones, do or does. Recuérdense que para el eat, he, she, it, we use does. For I, you, we, you, they, we use do. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you have, for example, the bedrooms. Is this singular or plural? Plural. Exactly, right? Estamos hablando de they. Entonces, aquí definitivamente... Vean que les han puesto el mismo acá. Que con una de estas que eliminen y ya. You have the answer, ¿ok? No they. Aquí, como es negativo, obviamente van a eliminar esta y esta. Solo se quedan con estas dos. ¿Okay? Y recuerden, ah, ok, el do y el does, para quien lo utilizo, si es does o doesn't, it, he, she. Si es do or don't, I, you, we, you, and they. Just remember that. Um, scramble. Aquí se trata de poner en orden, right? On scramble is desenredar. Okay. On scramble the sentence. For example, you say kitchen, some in chairs, there are the. Eh, ninguna tiene sin razón, todas son oraciones o afirmativas o negativas déjeme quiero ver, no, todas son negativas right Pero aquí está el no, there isn't there aren't any entonces recuerden, ¿qué va primero en una oración? there are de ahí la cantidad si es some any o no chairs in the kitchen ¿cuál sería acá? There. There is him. Uh -huh. There is what? Mirror. There is an, a mirror. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde? In the bedroom. In the bedroom. Y ahí la tiene. Ok. Entonces, con una palabrita que cambien de lugar, les va a dar eh, incorrecto. Ok. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Así como lo dijeron. Ok. Ocupar las, todas las palabras que están en el paréntesis. Y este. Y ponerlas en el orden correcto. Right. Good. The other one is select the correct words. Aquí, obviamente. A nurse, a pilot, or a salesperson. La más lógica, ¿verdad? La más lógica, quien trabaja en un hospital. Podría ser una salesperson que venda servicios de hospitalarios, right? Uh -huh. Ok. Could be. It's a nurse. Oh, yeah, la más lógica, exacto, es nurse. Definitely. Eh, a cook talks to people at a hotel, a receptionist, or a singer. Okay, then the people, the, the receptionist, okay, talks to uh, people at the hotel. The cook, está en la cocina ahí. He's a receptionist. Uh -huh, exactly. And then you have the other one is, ¿Quién de estos tres pasa sentado todo el día? Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. You can have, for example, usually a judge. Okay, then we have another one. Uh, okay, this is the last thing I practiced. Man, the opinions. I work at a restaurant. Si es lugar. Where? Si es eh, ocupación o qué hace? What? Y si es opinión? How? Okay, this is, for example, this is place, lugar, occupation. And opinion. Mira, aquí está vez menos más que el dije la palabra hate. Aquí está. Hate. Okay, opinion. And there you have the last one about the, the adjectives. A singer. Recuerden, el have es para, para plural. I, you, we, you, they. Ok, aunque el I y el you sean primera persona y segunda persona. Y el has para he, she, it. Singular. Ok. So, a singer. Has. Ok, has. A or an. Has. An. An porque lleva un sonido vocal, ¿no? So, then mm -hmm. you will do this one. Okay. And then I disagree. I think a singer's job is boring or is not boring. O sea, no está de acuerdo con esto. Okay. Le dice que es, un, es emocionante y aquí le dice que no, no está de acuerdo. And then the same thing with the fly attendant. Y el otro está de acuerdo. A cashier's, remember cashier's job is la cajera de un negocio, right? And then the cashier too. Okay, what else? And that's it. Y eso es todo. Que sientes next. Okay, people. Okay, teacher. Good. Okay, so I will see you on when Monday, yes, Monday, Monday 18th, el lunes 18, creo que es, si mal no recuerdo, sí, ¿verdad? Es Monday, April, sí, el 18. Okay, vamos a reiniciar, o sea, la otra semana, solo porque... Jocelyn se portó bien. No más. Solo porque participó. Solo porque participó, ok. Vaya compañeros a descansar entonces. Sí, vaya. Ahí le invitan a un par de pupusas por, por haber logrado la participación de hoy. Lástima que no nos da descanso ahí en la empresa. Ah, that's bad, ok. Pero por lo menos van a dormir más temprano. Ok, good. Mm -hmm. eh, enjoy your vacation, ok. Enjoy your vacation, rest as much as possible. Study English, ok. Then go to the platform, do the exercises, practice English, watch movies in English, listen to music in English, ok. And grabense la voz cantando, ok. Lleguen si ustedes mismos, whatever, ok. Practice as much as you can. Ok, people, have a very nice vacation. See you in one week, okay? Bye bye. Okay, teacher. Good. Okay, teacher. Okay, nice have a good night. Thank you, you too. Thanks. Bye bye. Thank bye. you. Bye.